back to the book. We made our way up the prominent part of Windy Gap where most of the battalion was gathering. The CSM, that's the Command Sergeant Major of B Company was organizing which kit we were to carry and which to leave. No tri- no tripods for the S- SF guns and the SF guns are sustained fire guns. It's basically a big heavy machine gun. Yeah. That that takes a crew to operate. So you have a tripod, someone carries the tripod, someone carries the gun, someone carries the ammunition, at least I think that's how they break it up. No tripods for the SF guns and no sleeping bags. No Bergens. Bergens is what the Brits call their big backpacks or big rucksacks. All unnecessary weight to be left. We repacked our kit. The Bergens and tripods were centralized for a later pickup. They were to be choppered forward if a chopper became available. We all felt pissed off about the conveyor being sunk and the prospect of the coming tab. So they call a, a a march or a hump, they call it a tab. Mm. We were we were uh, pissed off about the coming tab. We knew that the march would be about 50 kilometers. Nice. But we were all glad to be moving, breaking out across the island on the offensive. We set out at about 2.30 in the afternoon on what was to be an epic march for the regiment. With the GPMG, that's a general purpose machine gun, webbing order and ammo slung over every part of our bodies, we tabbed or rather hobbled as fast as we could. Once over the first hill, we started to march around the side of an adjoining hill. At this time, the Marines were walking alongside us, ready to break northwards toward Douglas, towards the Douglas settlement. Unlike us, they carried full kit, Bergens and all. Within 30 minutes, we had a short break to let the stragglers catch up. A young Marine was propped on his back beside me with his Bergen as a support. You lot have the right idea, he said. No fucking extras. We look like donkeys here. I couldn't help but agree with him, but thought to myself that while we may move faster, we'd be coldest at night. At that time, I didn't know we'd be marching flat out all the way, day and night. In less than an hour, our bodies were struggling under the weight of kit and ammo. The GPMG seemed to weigh a ton. We swapped it on every short break. Within the first two hours of the night march, orders were passed slowly back along the length of the battalion that we'd be stopping for 15 minutes in every hour. Some even started clock watching. Our boots and wet socks were becoming unbearable to march in, rubbing badly on the feet of most, if not all of us. Blisters and sprained ankles added unexpectedly to the injury toll. And I haven't done a good job of describing the terrain. Mm. It's miserable terrain. Just rocks, slippery rocks, big steep hills. It's, it's, go look at it on, you know, go look at some images of what the terrain in the Falkland Islands is like. Yeah. It's, it's nightmare to, f- nightmare to patrol on. And it's the kind where it's snowing, kind? Or? It's gonna snow. Yeah, not yeah. snowing yet, but it's gonna right, snow. But it's that cold where it's like yeah, snow. which actually is actually in some ways worse. In some ways, it's worse to have because if it's cold enough that it's snowing, mm. snow is snow is generally dry. Oh. It, if that makes sense, mm-hmm. rain is rain. Yeah, right. Yeah. You get rained on, you're yeah. wet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you get snowed on, you can maintain your your dryness. So right. if you're in a really cold environment where it's where it's snowing, that's okay. The snow it's, it doesn't make you wet. Mm. And wet makes you cold. Yeah, it's zapped. It sucks One of the worst heat. things is right on that borderline. Yeah, yeah. Between because then you get rained on, but then when the sun goes down, it turns into freezing. <laughs> so that this is the worst, worst, worst environment you could you could want for yeah. this situation that they're in. Yeah. And all their gear, they only have what limited gear they they should have got sunk on a boat or it's in their Bergens, but the, even the stuff that's in their Bergens isn't the full, isn't the best winter equipment they, they would want. Yeah. All that stuff got sunk. 